Hi, my name is Krill and I'm gonna show you my very brand new house for you all today and I love it and I think you will do that too and I'm gonna explain to you why you wanna download this house for your sims and as always you can download my houses through the, the sims 4 gallery or you can find the download link in the Krill box below you might already have noticed it uh, that I do something what I call a little terrain trick. Of course you can't edit terrain in The Sims 4, yet. But I found a way to sneak behind the problem. You see, it's very simple, I just made a foundation and decided how tall it should be. And then I add some stones beside the foundation so it would look like it actually looks like terrain. Or cliffs, if is also another word for it. To do that I had to use the move object cheat code so I could place the stones together. Also I raised and scaled some stones as well. And of course I add the grass floor to it and voila! You have now created a terrain on your lot and I think it turned out to be really really great as well. I also made a pond by creating fountains and then add some stones to it. The garden for this lot is the most detailed garden of all houses I have made for The Sims 4. I added tons of shrubs and plants all over the place, mainly because I wanted the terrain trick I did to look something more realistic. I add a pool, an infinity pool. Actually, if you don't know what an infinity pool is, it's basically a pool with an edge that doesn't have a connection to anything else. So when you are in the pool it looks like the pool don't have an edge. You should have seen it already because there are tons of hotels all around the world that have these kind of pools in the, the hotels. It was really really hard to choose the color for this specific house. I tried so many colors but nothing did fit with the style I was looking for. So I ended up with white colors and bright wooden patterns. And it looked really nice so I, I kept it. The interior for this house is also very nice as the garden is. When you walk into your brand new house you have a small entrance where you can change clothes and all that crazy stuff. Then we have the house heart, the big kitchen with dinner, you have also the living room there as well. I always do the kitchen and living room to one open space because it look better and there are more it's more realistic because many real houses have that concept so on the first floor we have obviously the kitchen slash dinner and living room we have a beautiful bedroom with brown wooden theme to it that is uh, very very nice and i think that is actually the best room on this house we have two bathrooms and a messy teenage boy room which i think looks pretty neat if you walk upstairs you have two teenage bedrooms, one for her and one for him. I also put a small office on the second floor which looks really awesome. And of course two bathrooms is on this floor as well. We have a lot of bathrooms so you don't need to worry if you sims need to pee of course. On the third floor we have the party area where with a bar and all that crazy stuff. With a beautiful view over Willow Creek. There is also a gym and one bathroom which is connected to the house master bedroom. There are even space for a nursery there as well. So I would recommend this house to a family with many many kids.
there you have it, a beautiful family house with a rich garden and a nice interior with an infinity pool and a pond, lots of plants and shrubs, very detailed and as I said you can download this lot in the sims gallery or you can find a link in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you very soon, be sure to check out my social media as well to get even more news and content. Have a nice day and my job is always to make your sims happy.